What is up? Guys, <laughs> this video is awesome. I'm proud of what this video will entail because this morning my husband and I sat down with coffee and kind of brainstormed different unique and thoughtful gift ideas. Some of these are things we've received in the past. Some of them are ones we've given or are planning to give. And it's a really good mix of like some small businesses where you should still have time to order it to get it in time for Christmas, like from Etsy and stuff. Some of them are free gift ideas that shouldn't cost anything. And others are ones you can just buy at different stores, but they're things that you just maybe wouldn't have thought of. And so I hope that this video gives you some ideas for people in your life maybe that are harder to buy for, or just that you love them and you want to get them something special or cool or unique. I got you. So that's what we're doing today. I'm so excited. So the first gift idea is StoryWorth and this video is very kindly sponsored by StoryWorth. So listen, if you are not new to my channel, you've probably heard me talk about StoryWorth and I was talking about them a couple of weeks ago as well. But if you've never heard of it, it is an online service that helps you and your loved one preserve your memories. It is such a cool gift idea. And while my husband and I were brainstorming, I was telling him, you know, this video, it's gonna be sponsored by StoryWorth, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, you know what? StoryWorth really is such a cool idea. I'm like, it really is. Last year, we got this for all four of our parents. And so all year long, we've been getting to read their stories about their life. So it's just a really thoughtful gift idea that's also digital. And so it doesn't take any shipping time. Like if you're worried about a gift getting there in time, there is no shipping time. So it's really, really easy in that way. So the way that it works is that every week StoryWorth will email a question to your loved one and they can simply reply to the email with their response, with their answer or their story. It's chock full of so many different questions that StoryWorth comes up with. You can create your own, you can change them. It's so easy to use, even if you're sending this to a loved one that maybe is not the most technologically advanced, there really is no learning curve. It's very, very easy to just reply to the email. And so some of the questions that I've been loving reading have been ones that ask them about their like younger adult life and their childhood. But I've been especially interested as someone in my early 30s in their life when they were in their like 20s and 30s because I mean that's that's the season I'm in and so they'll ask questions like what were you like in your 30s or how did you celebrate your 21st birthday things like that that aren't questions that would come up naturally in just everyday conversation with them but that I want to know I want to know those stories I want to know what they were like when I didn't know them when I didn't exist maybe and so reading all of their responses over the past year has been so so cool so at the end of the year or whenever you're ready story worth will compile all of their stories and any pictures they've included into a beautiful keepsake book. It ships for free. And what's cool is you can order as many of those books as you want. So if you have other family members or loved ones that you think would like to have it, that's yet another cool gift at the end of the year you could give to them as well. So our plan is that we'll just get them all printed and be able to give them to all of our siblings so that they have all of these stories and memories of their family too. I just think it's such a cool idea and it's not just a gift for the person you're getting story worth for is a gift for everyone in your family. You know what I mean? Plus, since it doesn't take any time to be delivered, it's a perfect last minute gift. There's no shipping time. You don't need to worry about delays. And so with StoryWorth, I just feel like I'm giving a gift from the heart, a gift that is preserving their memories and their stories. So if you want to give StoryWorth to someone in your life, you can go to storyworth.com slash Jessica B to get $10 off your first purchase. I think that is so awesome. I will have the link and all of that information right at the top of the info box below so you can easily find it but I just love it I am so excited to get their stories printed into these this is obviously just an example book but it's just amazing so thank you so much StoryWorth for sponsoring this portion of the video let's dive into some other gift ideas so I've also done a video where I talked about just completely free gift ideas I'm gonna link that below it's from last year I rewatched it yesterday and I was like I have nothing new to add to that because I feel like that video just stands alone. There are some really, really good, I combed through like thousands of free gift idea blogs and stuff. I picked the 10 best ones. Some of them were ones that were just from me. I'm proud of that video and it was really good. So if you're wanting to spend no money, check that video out. I promise that you will find something in there that will work for someone in your life. So. 
there's that, but yeah, let's dive in. So StoryWorth is an amazing one. Like I said, we gave last year to all four of our parents and it has been an amazing year of reading their stories. But my next one is a very personal one. It's a postcard binder. Now I know that you, you might be like, what? We were not postcard people, but ever since we had our first kiddo and we've got a second one cooking in the tum tum right now. <laughs> It's a weird way to say that. Anyway, we bought a postcard binder and the one I think we got was on Amazon. So I'll link the one that we bought and you can buy pages for different size postcards because obviously there's different sizes. And so every time we go somewhere, we'll buy a postcard, we'll fill out like, you know, what she did with us or whatever, or if it's a trip without her, which is not as common, but we'll write about the trip and we put them in there. So she already at three and a half years old has this little binder with different postcards from trips she's taken and you know a little story or two on the postcard about it and it has been really cool so if you have maybe a kid in your life or maybe just for yourself if you want to keep travel memories for your family get a postcard binder for the family and that's something that at first glance i feel like it doesn't come across as a great gift but it's one of those gifts that will keep on giving as the years go on and so then when they're 20 30 40 they have these amazing memories that you wrote for them or that other people wrote for them, whatever, or they wrote for themselves in there. So I just wanted to mention it because it's something I've mentioned in passing in vlogs and a lot of you guys seem to be interested in like kind of where I got it and things like that. So like I said, I'll link that and some of the filler pages below for the different size postcards because they've got big ones, the medium like normal size, and then some small postcard pages. All right, this is an easy one. It was the first one my husband threw at me, house, not that he threw this at me, but house plants. If you have plants that have like the shoots where you can replant them yourself, do that because that's basically a free gift. You'd maybe pay for some soil and a pot. You can get cute pots at the Dollar Tree, you know? Everyone likes house plants. They help clean the air. They're a good thing to have around. And if you already have some, you could transplant or you could just buy one. They're not super expensive depending on what you're getting. And again, it is unique. And I feel like a lot of us have what we need. You know what I mean? We have a lot what we need and there may be a couple things that you genuinely want or need and that you ask for for Christmas, but house plants are something that maybe people don't think to ask for, but they really are nice to have. And like I said, they help clean the air. That's bonus points, because we're breathing in all kinds of crazy things, you know? And bonus points, if it's someone that they maybe just moved into a new place or they got a new job, like that's a great thing they could bring to their new office or to their new house. So this is a personal favorite. Give someone you love your favorite book or a favorite book of yours that you think they would like. So I think what will make this special is if you write a really nice note on the inside cover, not just like one sentence, but like a paragraph or two about why you think they will like this book. And the reason I think that's meaningful is I feel like a lot of us, you know, not everyone reads. Like I like to read, but I know that most people in the world don't read a ton. You just don't have the time. You know, it's hard to find the time. Anytime I've ever gotten a book from someone where they told me, I think you will like this. I love this book. I think you'll like this because blah, blah, blah. It makes me want to read it because I'm like, wow, they thought about me enough to think, I bet Jessica would like this book. Do you know what I'm saying? And it was so much more meaningful when I ended up reading and loving the book. So my husband was telling me that actually my younger brother, Michael, had given him a book and wrote a really nice inscription in it about why, you know, about why he thought he would like it and stuff. And that is such a meaningful item that Tyler now owns. And it was so cute that he even remembered that. Like that was very meaningful to him. So that woman, I was like, it's definitely going on the list because I think that's special. And it could be free if you already have the book and you're willing to part with it, then you don't even have to buy them a new book. You could say, this is the copy I used and loved and I wanted to pass it on to you because X, Y, and Z. So another one that could be a free gift or a somewhat inexpensive gift for someone that could be meaningful still. Okay recipe binder. My mom did this for all of us and it was so cool, but you could do this for anyone in your life. Get a binder from the Dollar Tree or wherever. You could print out a little cover for it and buy like those uh, page for sheet protectors, you know, and really you don't even have to, but it's just kind of nice to have to protect the recipes. You could print out some of your favorite recipes and organize them into a binder and give them as gifts to people, especially if you're someone that you like to cook. Maybe you have family or friends that are like, oh my gosh, do you have this recipe? This was so good, but you know, that is a great way to pass those on. And then as the years go on, you could maybe add a few recipes. My mom, like a couple years after she gave those to us, had, you know, 
10 or 15 more recipes that she wanted to add to it. So she kind of made them for everyone. She wrapped them in a bow for everyone. And it was so great because we could just go to our binder, add them in. And again, it's a essentially free or really inexpensive gift, but it's so meaningful. And I use that binder all of the time. Now, if you wanted to get fancy, you can get personalized binders online. I ordered one just for my, like separate from my mom recipes, you know, that I personalized and it got printed on it like the Braun family, blah, blah, blah. And it's really, really cute. So you could definitely go that route too if you wanted to kind of class it up a bit, but you really don't have to. And again, it's meaningful, it's useful, and it's, it's just cool. I'm such a nerd, you guys. <laughs> I think some of you guys already know that. So for someone that maybe travels a lot or something like that, you could get them a really cool map of the world or maybe if they travel the US a lot, a map of the US. They're not very expensive on Amazon. You can even get like the National Geographic, like nice version of it. And you can buy them a cheap little pack of stickers. They sell, again, on Amazon. They can stick the little stickers on places they've traveled or visited. And we've been doing that for a while with our like our own travels and it has been so fun and we've given that as a gift to a couple people in our lives that do like to travel or maybe they did some amazing big trip like we did that for Tyler's brother Jason he did this huge epic trip to Australia a few years ago so we got him a map of Australia and we marked all of the places he visited and I did we I think we might have framed it too and it's just again a unique gift that's really really thoughtful but especially if it's someone that is continually traveling, they can continually add to it, which I think is cool. So this one's simple, but I want to bring it up because it might give like, you know, give you a little light bulb moment. Think of whoever you're trying to buy for their favorite show or movie or book or like musical. Maybe they love Hamilton. I clearly love Hamilton. Go on Etsy and just type in that show's name and hit enter because you are going to see a treasure trove of the most specific, funny, cool, nerdy, stuff that relates to whatever the show is, some of the best gifts I've ever given have been found that way. And so I wanted to give that a mention. Last year in this video I did, I was very specific about like if you have a Harry Potter lover or general book lover. So I'll link that video too if you want those more specifics. But I'm telling you, if you just do that on Etsy, you're gonna find a treasure trove. My only advice would be if you're thinking about buying something on Etsy or from a small business online, do it like now. If you're watching this early December, or like the second week of December, do it now and really look at the shipping times because they vary wildly, like very, some of them are like, no, we've already closed for Christmas shipping. A lot of them are like, we can, but you might have to pay for expedited, but really look closely at the shipping times. And yeah, that's my advice, but definitely, definitely do it sooner rather than later. Pinocchio the Beagle's joining us. <laughs> okay. Another favorite, two different ideas. So Etsy in particular sells a lot of different stamps. So I have bought address stamps if someone has like moved into a new home, even if they have it, it's a cool gift. Like we still do not own one. And I'm like, I'm gonna ask for that for Christmas. I wanna stamp with our address. So when I'm sending out Christmas cards or things like that, you get a little stamp pad with it and it's got, you know, your name or your initial and they have so many different designs. And again, it's one of those gift ideas that people will use if they have it, but they don't think to buy for themselves. You know what I mean? And they're really cool. But one that I got my husband Tyler last year that I think, <laughs> excuse me. Anyway, I think what he's told me is one of his favorite gift ideas and he definitely uses it. He's been slowly but surely stamping all of his books. You can get a from the library of, you know, Tyler Braun or the Braun family, whatever. One of those kinds of stamps. And it is so neat. It makes, especially if you, you know, it's a book lover or someone that collects a lot of books. It's just a cool thing that they can use to kind of mark all of their books. And yeah, that is one that just makes me smile every time I see him using it because it, it really is a pretty cool thing to have. Another unique idea, and again, there's tons on Etsy, is getting like a states we love or, you know, family knows no bounds kind of a print. I'll put a picture on the screen of kind of the idea of what I mean. We got this for my brother and sister-in-law because she is from California and he is from Indiana where we live and they currently live in Rhode Island. So their family and their hearts are kind of spread all throughout different states. And so just the idea of this print with all three states and like it's kind of connected to them, you know what I mean? It, it's meaningful to them. I think it's really cool. They have a lot of different versions. They have ones where like, if you're getting it for a best friend or maybe a newlywed couple with the two states they're from or like the state you met in, like there's so many different versions of it. And again, it's such a cute idea. It's also something you could probably make on your own if you really wanted to save money, if you're decent at, you know, 
making those kinds of things online, you can make your own print and then buy a frame and there you go. It's a really cute gift. So wanted to bring that up because I think that's something that could be meaningful to someone, but you might not think about. I mean, that's the whole idea of this whole video, Jessica. <laughs> It's like when you're watching a show and they say the name of the show or something like that, you're like, he said it. Okay, if you have a dog or cat lover, I mentioned this last year, but yappy.com has some of the freaking cutest little gifts. So last year, maybe the year before, we bought our best friend's dog, Ralph, a little pillow that says Ralph or something like that. And it's basically a cartoon version of them. And what's perfect is you don't need to have like a picture of the dog. You can kind of pick their breed and then change the coloring so it's pretty close. And so we also got one, well, I say it's for Pinocchio, but I mean, it's for us, a little bag that says Pinocchio stuff. And it's got a little beagle face that looks like him. And anytime he's staying at like a grandparents or something, we can put all of his stuff in there. Just really unique, cute ideas for pet lovers in your life. So yappy.com is very cool. If you got someone that like likes whiskey or bourbon, or they like to have a little fancy setup on their bar, you can get like a personalized decanter that are kind of like crystal-like or glass and you can get matching glasses that have their initial on it. It can say their name on it. There are so many options on Etsy. They can get pricey depending on what route you go with it, but they're not all super, super pricey and they're really, really, really nice. So my husband's gonna have to send me the picture of this, but he was describing to me this ring we got for, and I remember giving it to him, but I just don't remember exactly what it looks like for his brother that has a bottle opener on it, I'm assuming on the top. And so you like, maybe it's on the bot. I don't know. Again, I can't picture it, but it's a ring that has a bottle opener on it. So you can wear it. And then if you're popping open a beer, you already have it on you. I don't know. I wanted to mention it though, cause he was so adamant about it being in this video. So I will link it below as well. Again, I'm pretty sure our brother and my brother-in-law uses it. So I think, I mean, it is, it's a cool idea. So one, if you've got someone that's spiritual or religious in your life, you could get them a devotional. My favorite ones are from Sarah Young. I typically find them like on Amazon, but you can find them in stores sometimes too. So if you wanna support like an actual bookseller, I'll link it in a couple different places because I'm trying to be better about buying books, not just from Amazon, but that's an easy thing to be able to support like bookstores, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to be better about that. But uh, yeah, her devotionals are, the days are just quicker. I wish I could say I read my devotional every single day, I don't. But when I do, it's, it's stuff that it's palatable and it's easy to kind of apply to your day and it's only a couple of paragraphs. So I actually just bought my brother for his birthday one of hers. They have some for men, for women, for anyone. And uh, yeah, they're they're really nice, a nice gift. And that's a gift I received in the past. But you could also do prayer journals. There are so many different versions or just journals in general, if it's someone that's not, not necessarily religious. But there's so many different versions and that can be a really nice gift. Again, especially if you write a nice inscription on the inside about why you're getting it for them or whatever. Okay, something we got for my sister-in-law who is pregnant. And this was something on her registry, but it was so cool. I wanted to mention it here. On Etsy, they have these wooden milestone markers. So you could get like one month, two month, three month. And so as you're taking pictures of the baby's first year, you can just put that cute little wooden sign on them or near them. And it was just such a cute, unique gift idea that I wanted to mention if you do have someone in your life that's pregnant or maybe just had a baby. They had like the monthly ones, but they also have holidays. So like baby's first Christmas, baby's first Easter, whatever it is you celebrate. And so lots of different ideas on there, but I thought that's very unique and really useful too. So just cute. So I have a couple of kids ones. I didn't go too crazy on kids ones because honestly, a lot of my ideas are gonna be in my other gift guide that's going up, I think next week. So stay tuned for that. But some really neat ones from Etsy. One that my daughter has loved. I thought she would like, but she has loved way more than I thought. It's these little play pods. So there are different ones you can get. You can get them one at a time. You can buy packs with a couple. They're literally say play pods on them and they're different like games and they're kind of learning games. Some of them are more educational than others, but they're really good for like my daughter's three and they're perfect for her developmental like group. You know what I mean? Like one of them is like little cards to make cookies. And so there's like wooden shapes and you follow the recipe and so you get the right wooden shape for the cookie then you get the right little felt color icing that you put it on and then the right little sprinkle little bead that you put on it is so cute she loves doing it it's something we can do together because not all <laughs> toddler toys or kids toys 
are easy to play with like with an adult and a kid versus like some really are and that's a really great one to be able to do with her. So wanted to mention that we have two of them. I'm thinking about buying a couple more. I should probably order it like today. A couple more for her for Christmas because they're just so, so cool and so unique and she really likes them. Another one, and actually we've used these when we go to church too, because they're a good quiet toy, are these little I Spy bags. So it's like a little bag, you can pick the print. Ours has like pink and it's got Minnie Mouse all over it, but they have a ton of different print options for the fabric. And it's filled with rice and then it's got all these tiny little things inside and a card that tells you, you know, okay, can you spy a little basketball and so she looks through the rice and again the right it doesn't open there's not rice everywhere <laughs> it's all enclosed but she's kind of moving the rice around to try to find each little thing so it's actually really cool really cute and if you had a grandkid or a niece or nephew or your own kids I think it's a really cool idea. So another one would be to do like tickets to something for your kids. So like tickets to go to the zoo and wrap it up all nice with a bow and they can be all excited about it. But another one, you know, like you do coupons for like people in your life, like, oh, coupon for a 15 minute back rub or foot rub, whatever. Well, I was thinking we could do it for kids, but some of the ideas we came up with this morning were like, okay, if you have like a neighborhood pool or like a pool you go to, maybe, okay, this can be redeemed for one day we can go to the pool, a day of your choosing, you know, not a school day, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you do want to do it on a school day. I don't know your life. Or like a ticket to like this, we can watch a movie with popcorn in the, the basement with mommy and daddy, you know, that kind of a thing. Some other ones, Starbucks date with mommy or daddy, uh, go to the park, do an ice cream date to Dairy Queen or your local ice cream joint. So lots of different ideas that some could be free, some could not be depending on how you do it, but you could just make them. I think the kids would be excited to be able to use them at their leisure to a certain extent, you know? I just think that's cute. We might do that this year too. And honestly, y'all, when I'm really, really stumped on like gifts for people in my life, you know, there's always someone in your life that is just hard. <laughs> to buy for, just hard to buy for. Or maybe you're buying for a general gift exchange and you're like, I don't really know. Sometimes I will just go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods and comb the aisles because I always walk away with something that I would not have thought of because they just have such cool stuff. And then you, no matter the time of day, you're gonna wait two hours in line at TJ Maxx. It could be Tuesday at 9.30 in the morning and it is still, the line is like just wrapped to the back of the store. Anyway, so those are my kind of more unique, I think unique gift ideas for you guys. As a lot of small businesses, some free, some, you know, you make yourself. But I hope this was helpful. Maybe even if you didn't use one of these ideas, it gave you another idea for something else. That is always a good thing. And you know, at the end of the day, I try to remind myself not to get too overly stressed about gift buying and gift making, whatever, because they're just gifts. And if you ask me what I received from Christmas, even last year, I'd be like, I don't know. I really don't know because that's not what I think about with holidays and with birthdays and with whatever. And is that what you think? I don't think it is. It's really not. Like you're thinking about like, oh, I, I loved baking cookies or doing that gingerbread house or watching that movie on Christmas Eve together. Like you're not thinking about the things that you got. I really don't think most of us are. And so keep that in mind for whoever you're getting a gift for. They're not thinking about that most likely. So just take a breath. <laughs> You'll get all the gifts done, I promise. <laughs> anyway, that is all. So again, thank you to StoryWorth for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you want to get StoryWorth as a gift for someone else in your life, you can go to storyworth.com slash Jessica B and save $10 on your first purchase. Again, the link and everything is right there at the top of the description box for you if you need it. And that is all. Stay tuned, subscribe for my gift guide coming up in a little bit, in a few days. That will be my Amazon one. So if you've got last minute gifts or just need some new gift ideas, I will have that for you guys. I'm excited about that one too. And I hope you subscribe. Check out our Vlogmas videos. We are putting up a new video every single day in December over on my husband's channel. It is Tyler Travels TV right up there. It has been so much fun. And if you have never joined us for Vlogmas, I think this is the year. I think this is the year. Give it a try. Start on day one and just see because I think you'll like it. It's just chill. And I know for a lot of you guys, it's become a tradition, like a holiday tradition for you guys to watch it, which makes me so happy. And yeah, that is all. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.